It's the planet's largest ecosystem. It provides 99% of all living space on the Earth. It covers 72% of the planet's surface, yet only 5% of the ocean has been explored. So one of the things we do at the museum is we tell stories, and our, our logo is Amazing Stories of the People on the BC Coast, and this is another new chapter in the stories. And the stories normally have been on the surface of the ocean, now we're going down 2,600 meters to the bottom of the ocean. To teach people about the ocean and raise awareness about the threats to the ocean, the Maritime Museum has paired up with Ocean Networks Canada to put on a new exhibit. It's something we've been looking forward to for about six months now, so we're very excited to get it started. <laughs> We talk a lot about uh, Ocean Networks Canada, what their, how their research uh, is relevant to the life in the ocean, how can they improve that, also how does it affect our very survival. What lies beneath the past, present and future of underwater exploration is the museum's biggest exhibit in almost a decade. Every year we would like to have exhibits like this come in on stream. Every year we'd like to change our exhibits by at least 25 percent. It's all part of the museum's plan to attract more visitors and tourists, a plan to move the museum forward into the future. But late last year, after losing the bid to move into the CPR terminal building and make it the permanent home of the Maritime Museum, it's now looking to the future and possibly moving into the Inner Harbour with a floating museum. Well, we were very disappointed not to get the CPR building because it was just a natural fit with the heritage of, of BC and Victoria. But we're moving on. We're now building, not building, but we're planning to build this cement concrete structure, roughly 20, 25,000 square feet, on the waterfront somewhere in the Inner Harbour area. Ambitious plans that would see a multi-storey building as the centrepiece of the harbour. This is still in the planning stages, but it's our goal. It'll take a year and a half to, to two and a half years to bring it to fruition. But we've already checked out uh, the folks that build these things, and they've said, yes, it can be done. Whether it's a new building or this one, the museum wants to be more than just artifacts. It wants to tell stories by engaging young people with interactive displays in education. Well, it, it, what it will do is give us better area for display of the amazing stories. And that's what we need. We want to be able to change our exhibits periodically, have a lot of things for uh, younger folk. This exhibit with Ocean Networks Canada will run for six months. In the meantime, they're planning the next exhibit, all in an effort to bring what's above the water and below to life. In Victoria, I'm Shetta Singh for The Daily.